Hello community, are you ready to master another broken hero that can give you a free ride to mythic while playing as a support? Do you want to play a hero who is so hot that he's irresistible even to washboard abs windy boys? Or do you want to turn all your enemies into Pokemon masters by turning them into ash? Yep, this was a TV show for kids. If your answer is yes, then auto-lock that fire boy and join the Fire Nation. My name is Shinman Takizo, preparing you to carry your games with support Fireboy Valier and this ultra-fast speed guide. Hey, did you know that Valier is banned from entering shopping malls? It's because they don't allow firearms. And we're off to a good start. Get ready to light up a million asses with Valir's unlimited fireballs. Reject and push away any human interaction with his anti-coronavirus flaming wall. And unleash all your fiery anger as you relentlessly harass your enemies, making sure they are cooked to the bones. Valir's passive is called Fuck Your Regen and Recall, where he annoys enemies by setting them on fire and leaving a lit marker on their head every time they're hit by any of his skills. Enemies on fire suffer a continuous percent HP magic damage for a few seconds, canceling any attempt to recall back to base or heal up HP with their regen spell. If the enemy gets hit three times by Valier's skills and get three markers on them, they will be stunned for one second. Every tick of this passive also applies any item effects that works with skills like Necklace of Durant's and ice cream wand, making it one of the most annoying passive in the entire game. Valier skill 1 is called exploding fireball sacks. The fireballs come from, from these sacks. These are called sacks, you know? Valier yeets burning spicy fireballs from his sacks at the enemy's face, giving them instant regret. Upon using this skill, Valier throws a thick fireball towards the enemy dealing magic damage, slowing them down and setting them on fire with his passive. This is a skill shot and it's OP if you can hit enemies and it sucks if you can't. If you are patient enough, you can save up to two balls in your sacks that you can throw twice in a row. And if you got good aim and consistently hit an enemy, you will be rewarded with a free stack of fireball in your sack. So if you want to continuously have balls to throw at your enemies, a good aim and prediction is necessary. The fireball explodes upon impact or when it reaches maximum range, leaving an area that has a fiery slow effect and explodes after a few seconds. This explosion triggers a separate passive marker count. So by using your skill 1 to hit enemies with 2 balls and 1 explosion, you can guarantee that the enemy will be stunned out of pure satisfaction. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Valier's skill 2 is called Anti-Diving Bitch Lapper. Aside from being a legendary Fire Lord, historical accounts also mention that Valier was once a world-renowned pool lifeguard. Whenever Valier is on the battlefield, he holds up a no-diving sign and slaps all the rule breakers that dare to dive his team. Pressing the skill will cast a glowing hot 1000 degree wave in a cone in front of you, pushing back all the thirsty bitches who have the nerve to get too close. This skill is very effective in keeping away rule breaking divers such as assassins, fighters, tanks, and annoying kids who aren't even tall enough to dive. This is your only form of creating space between you and the enemy since Valier has no dash or blink skills. So use it conservatively, save it up, and make sure it is up when the enemies try to get to your face. And finally, Valier skill 3 or ultimate is the come at me bro. As a really hot-headed guy, he loses all his temper and activates his big peepee. -pee or powerful flames you know the the pyre like a pyre i'm going to kill myself and it's your fault he upgrades his skill 1 and skill 2 with 30% more damage and longer range that can rival any ultimate skills in the game. 
Pressing this skill will immediately burn away and remove any stunts or slows on you just like a free purify spell. You also get to enjoy a movement speed for 5 seconds and a legit legal drone view as the camera zooms away for the duration of the ult. Additionally, you get 4 charges orbiting around you that you can spend on the upgraded version of your skills. Skill 1 becomes a bigger fireball with longer range and a wider explosion area. Skill 2 also gets a huge range up Grade plus an additional wall of fire effect will be left on the ground at the end of its range, slowing down and damaging enemies who go through it. This skill is mainly used defensively to escape any stunts and counterattack with powered up skills, or you can use it to attack to boost the power and more importantly the range of your skills to hit the enemy backline or finish up a 1 HP hero trying to escape. Tactical nuke incoming! And now that you know the basics on how to roast your enemies, it is time to end all their careers with these tips and tricks. For battle spells, take flame shots so you can slow down enemies for easier hits with your skill 1. You can also do moves that will make enemy report you as a map hacker. And with flame shot, you'll have an additional knockback effect that you can use for emergencies at close range. You can also take Purify if you're smart and would like to play it safe like a big pussy. Poor emblems take support and put points like this. More movement speed to run as fast as fuck boy! Hybrid regen for unlimited mana and the first support talent that increases the damage dealt by your team on the enemy that you're targeting. As a true Fire Nation overlord, you must take these items in order to successfully attack other nations. Take a basic mask to ensure your allies that you are a support, even though you might accidentally get kills. Accidentally. Build blue boots to complement your outfit and to never run out of mana for the entire game. Take ice cream wand next to battle hot summer weathers and add more slow to your skill 1 and your burning passive. Having this item guarantees that you'll stun the enemies with 2 hits from your skill 1 because they can't get away from the maximum slowness of their movement speed. Take Necklace of Jewel Rants next to counter those pesky life stealers and regenerating enemies. Follow it up with Glowing Wand so you can deal more damage and lengthen the time enemies are slowed. Complete Courage Mask because it looks like fire and so that you can get a boost of movement speed for you and your allies when you need it. And then wrap it up with defensive items like Immortality or Winter Truncheon. At the start of the game, Put a mask on since you're going outdoors at max skill 1, take skill 3 when available, and max skill 2 last. Proceed to follow around whoever it is you're supporting and help out in killing jungle monsters or taking buffs, while always being ready to keep enemies away. You can use your skill 1 and skill 2 to help out in damaging jungle monsters, but save up one stack of skill 1 in case of enemy invaders. Valier is a top tier anti-buff invade officer and you should be aggressive when fighting in the jungle. There's gonna be less space for the enemies to dodge your skills so just keep spamming your skills hitting enemies with your skill 1 until they're hot and crispy. Annoy snaky rock boys with retribution in the river to prevent them from stealing your red. They always friggin do this. Stop. In clearing the lane if you have to, push back enemy minion waves with skill 2 before throwing skill 1 to put them in one spot so all of them get hit by the delayed explosion. Only use skill 2 if the enemy is close enough to be pushed back. Use it defensively to keep them away. Later on in the game when you notice that your carry or the hero you're supporting is dealing enough damage to clear jungle by themselves, camp and chill in bushes to provide vision and scout for enemies that might come for a gank. Blast them with both your skill 2 and skill 1 to fuck up their plan and back off if your carry ally is too far to follow up. Fight fire with fire to keep exploits away from backing up the enemy in the team fights that your team probably started in the enemy tower. The bush is your best friend. Always try to catch enemies off guard with your skill 1 by camping in bushes and blasting them away. Like a wise man once said, they can't avoid what they're not expecting just like pregnancy so wear protection. Don't friggin start fights if your carry is not around. Seeing where the enemies are and giving vision for your teammates is enough. 
Use your ultimate defensively like after getting stunned or slowed to purify yourself and counter attack with your skills by starting with skill 2 to push back the attacker and then following up with skill 1 to stun. But you can also use it to attack offensively in team fights if you are sure that you're not going to get focused or your teammates are already in a battle and the enemies are too distracted to avoid your skill shots. There's a mini cooldown between casting your skill 1 even though it has 2 stacks. You can bypass this by using skill 1 and then immediately activating your ult to remove the cooldown so you can immediately rapid fire cast your skill 1 again. This is very effective in making sure the enemy is stunned after initially hitting them with a non-ult skill 1. Finally, stay in the backline as close as possible to your marksmen during teamfights to keep them safe with your pushback, stun, your kill securing power that is so good but let's not forget you're a support but maybe you can get a maniac no I, I said maybe right I said maybe. keep running around the map and spam that flaming hadouken for a non-stop blazing action. Push back any enemies and stun them in place so they can think about their life choices while they die a fiery death. And always remember, if you fight fire with fire, you're gonna lose your house. It's gonna burn down. So don't be stupid. My name is Shinman Takizo and this is Valir, an ultra fast speed guide. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.